The new DJI Mavic introduced two new shot modes and that was Asteroid and Boomerang. This shot right here is Boomerang. So I'm gonna show you basically what the clips look like. This is straight off of the Mavic Air. Um, so I'll go through, show you what they look like uh, for the final result. And then I'll also show you what you should be expecting to see on your iPad or phone tablet screen at the same time. So again, like I said, that was the uh, Boomerang mode. And here we go. So you're gonna select quick shots and then boomerang. And it'll of course show you a little thing there of what it actually looks like. You trace a box around you, tap uh, you know, on the subject again, and it'll count down and begin doing the shot mode. Now you will notice that there was a little bit of lag here. The iPad, unfortunately, I uh, forgot and left it sort of in the sun. So it was running pretty hot. And I found when the iPad runs hot, there's more lag introduced in the actual video itself but there's a couple times here in the video where you'll see the green box is not on me and then when it finally catches up right here when the video feed catches up boom it's on me so you can tell that the mavic air is doing a good job of tracking me so now i want to go through and do the shot mode one more time but this time i'm going to move and you'll actually see the camera does adjust to make sure that it keeps me in the uh, frame here. Now I haven't tried this moving quickly, um, but I did try a little bit just to make sure that it's actually active tracking you as you move around during the shot. And uh, luckily the DJI Mavic Air does do that and it'll track you while uh, taking care of this boomerang shot mode. And then again, we're gonna show you here, this is just straight off of the iPad of exactly what I was seeing. So I hit go, of course, and let the drone do its thing. Now the countdown is actually really cool because if you're doing uh, you know, shots of yourself or with family, it gives you a chance to hit start and put your phone or tablet and controller down and then kind of get into a proper position so that way you're not sitting there holding the controller. Now, most of the time it's not really a big deal, but if you're trying to put something together nicer or kind of a family vacation thing, you might not want to have yourself holding the controller in the shot. Now this next shot mode here is called Asteroid. So what's cool about Asteroid is the drone will pull back up and away like you see here, and then it kind of gives you a giant little world view, um, you know, zoomed out effect. Now, one thing that I will mention is that after you do this shot mode, it uh, the, the video recording is not going to be 4K. It is only 1080, um, so do keep that in mind that if you're editing it, that you might have to upscale that a little bit. Um, of course, that's really easy to do, but it is a 1080p shot. It is not done in 4K. Now, once you start the actual shot mode here, you'll see the camera, of course, the drone uh, pulls back up and away, keeping you in the frame. But then once it reaches a certain height, it starts taking photos. So the drone will automatically move around and take those photos. And that way it can kind of construct that cool 360 degree view field at the end of the video that it does. And once again, this is all shown to you in live, uh, live time. There's no speed up or slow down here. So this is exactly what you'd be seeing and what to expect on the camera itself. Now it does seem to move around pretty quickly, so I don't expect that this shot is going to be uh, sped up in any way during future updates. The only thing that it might do is, uh, you know, maybe the actual processing time of the shot itself. But otherwise, you can see the Mavic Air is pretty quick to make sure it moves around and takes the photos that it needs to, and there's no awkward pauses or times where it's just sitting there trying to think. Um, so, yeah, overall, not too bad. It gets the the uh, video compiled pretty quickly and then you're all ready to go. Now of course with these new shot modes it gives you a great opportunity to get kind of a cool unique look uh, to a video or a family vacation or Instagram or whatever it is that you're doing that you wouldn't normally be able to do otherwise or not without a lot of uh, you know practice and expertise doing that. And of course if you like what I'm doing make sure you subscribe to the channel and of course comment below if you have any questions or you need me to test out another uh, shot mode on the new DJI Mavic Air.